uh, the larger vehicle, there's even hard to talk about what the older stuff was called because in East Asia, in uh, China and Japan, it is referred to as Hinayana or in, in uh, Sino Japanese, the Shoujo Buddhism. The smaller, it was all kinds of stuff, including this huge uh, school, Sarvastavada, which has totally disappeared. Um, and out, out of the stuff that was pre Mahayana, these schools that developed following the Buddhist teaching, the only one that didn't become Mahayana that survives is the Theravada. And in fact, I would believe the current the Theravada, as we know it in Sri Lanka, Thailand, and Burma, is actually a modern development and a uh, deliberate conservative attempt to throw itself back to uh, the earlier tradition. But I think it's the Stavira school, which we do have a record of. And interestingly, Stavira in Sanskrit means the same thing that Theravada means in, in Pali. So very likely the, the Theravada, as we know it, came from the uh, uh, Stavira school. It was the Stavira school. But we're from second century prior to the Common Era to the second century of the Common Era. It's a good 500 years, maybe, that we can't date it. Um, we come in this tradition, of course, then around about the uh, 9th century or so, 8th or 9th century, the Vajrayana developed out of it, uh, out of um, Mahayana. And there's still the official different techniques, they like mantra. There's a little bit of a magical feel about it, but the idea is that the vision is the same as the Mahayana. It is different from those pre-Mahayana schools and what we see in the Theravada. The objective of the Theravada is most especially to overcome deluding passions. Um, of course, we hope to do that too, but their um, exalted uh, uh, objective, albeit um, it's <laughs> which is when we're going to pull it off, is, is something you might, you might question. Um, the Vajrayana, there's a neutral term, but it is somewhat self congratulatory. Vajrayana is very self congratulatory. Vajra, Vajra being a strange term because it means diamond, but in Buddhist usage, it also means thunderbolt, mm -hmm. lightning bolt.